All right, so the last video we created the the delay timer for the auto brew. And I thought about it some more, and I thought, well, when you actually run it, let's say that's 10 seconds. When you actually run it, um, there's a potential to, oops, I forgot to enable that. When you run it, there's an actual potential to not actually input your parameters. So I think what we're going to do is, uh, see, because if it was a short time, I wouldn't have been able to input my parameters. And I think I want to move it so that I can click my recipe input. So that means I've done this page and then start it again. So I'll just walk us through. I'll walk us through doing that. It should be pretty easy. I mean, everything's created, but uh, it should just simply be a, a, you know, a cut and a paste. So I think we're going to move this so that we have to accept it. But then we're going to do our if there, if that's true. And we don't need to make that button click anymore. So it should just be this. It should just be this. And then it, we're going to make sure and click our inputs before the timer starts. So that way the timer is not going to start if you don't have your parameters because you could technically start a brew session without the right information and then you'd have to start it over. With this, if I forget to click recipe input, the brew is just not going to auto start. Whereas if I didn't have it this way, it could auto start and not be right. So um, anytime we make a change, uh, we vet and test. And so I have my timer set to 10 seconds. I have my auto brew on. And so let's run it and see if that uh, that's going to do what we want it to do. All right, so now we're waiting for that recipe input. So let's go to the recipe input. Let's turn off these hops. We don't, we won't sparge this time. And now it's waiting for this to be true. I click true. Okay, so now it started the timer. Only after I click this input, it started the timer. That way I can make sure I have all my parameters correct before the timer expires. Now it goes on to the brewing process. I think I like that better. But you can see how, how easy it is to actually customize and change. You know, if, if something's not working out the way you want to do it, you can just simply, you know, control, copy, cut, paste, and do what you want to do. And uh, it's quick and easy like that. And so since I always test both ways, uh, we'll turn auto brew off and we'll run it and it's going to wait for brew state to be true. So we click that. Now it's going to wait for parameters. And now it skips right back past the timer and starts. So simple as that.